Hello everyone, today I've got another carpet washer to look at. This is a Vax Platinum Power Max carpet washer. It's a bit similar to the Vax Dual Power Pro I've shown you on my channel quite a few years ago, but this is the latest upgraded version. It's got a six year guarantee and many advanced features, according to the box, to give your carpets and upholstery a deep down clean. So without any further ado, I'll take everything out of the box, lay it out in front of you, and then we'll assemble this carpet washer. Here's everything out of the box. It looks quite daunting because there's quite a lot of different parts, but assembly for this machine is very straightforward. You don't need a screwdriver. All we have to do is assemble the handle and then fit the clean water tank. And obviously during the video, I'm going to explain what all these accessories are for. The carpet washer itself is delivered in three main parts. You've got the main body of the machine, the handle and the clean water tank. So the first thing we need to do is attach the handle to the main cleaner. At the back of the handle, you'll see the handle lock dial. And before inserting it onto the cleaner, you need to ensure it's in the unlocked position. To fit the handle, simply insert it onto the machine here, press it right down, and then just turn the dial here to the locked position. There is a bit of resistance as you get towards the bottom, so it'll need a little bit of force, but not much. And now we can see it's in the locked position and the handle is attached to the cleaner. Next, fit the clean water tank by angling it to the front like this, and then pushing it back until it clicks into position. This tool caddy holds the spin scrub hand tool. It's optional, you don't have to fit it. You can always put your spin scrub tool in the bag provided, but if you want it on board, this fits onto the handle. I'll show you how to do that now. The caddy fits onto the handle this way up. Simply slide it onto the handle, starting from the top, and keep sliding it down, and then you'll hear a click and that's the caddy in place. You can now fit the spin scrub hand tool on the caddy like so. The Vax Platinum Power Max has a nine meter mains cable, so you should be able to clean a large room before having to find another socket outlet. We just need to remove the cable tag and the cable stores on board the machine. There's a fixed lower hook here and a quick release swivel hook at the top. So to store the cable, just loosely wrap it around both the upper and lower hooks, like so. When you've wrapped the cable around the hooks, you'll see a little clip on the end of the plug. Simply use the clip to secure the plug to the cable. With the cleaner fully assembled, I'm now going to show you all the tools and accessories that come with the Vax Platinum Power Max. You've already seen the spin scrub hand tool. I'll show you that in action either in this video or a subsequent video. You also get, apart from the spin scrub hand tool, an upholstery wash tool. This is clear so you can see all the dirt being sucked up and it has a fixed brush at the back. So this is useful for cleaning upholstery inside your car, stair carpeting, and those inaccessible places where you've got fixed heavy furniture you can't reach with the main machine. You can attach the hose and do those small areas with this nozzle. And you can also clean around the edge of the room as well. Of course, we need a hose. And this is a very long stretchable hose and I'll be seeing how stretchable it is. It is designed to clean a standard flight of stairs. When it's fully extended, it will be 4.6 meters. So it stretches, this fits onto the machine. I'll show you that later. And of course the hose does extend. You've got a trigger as well here. This gray trigger releases the cleaning solution behind whichever nozzle you've got attached, either the spin scrub tool or the upholstery wash tool. You get a handy bag as well to put the hose in and the small accessories. This is a pre-treatment wand. It's got a little cable tie on that I'll have to cut off. You can use this in conjunction with the pre-treatment solution. 
So this fits onto the machine in the same way as the hose. And then you can spray on solution for about 10 minutes. If you've got a very dirty stain or a heavily soiled high traffic area, use the pre-treatment solution before you start using your Vax carpet washer. This carpet washer, apart from cleaning carpets, stairs and upholstery, you can also clean hard floors with it thanks to the provision of this squeegee nozzle that fits onto the main nozzle of the cleaner. With this one, we get two bottles of platinum solution, so that's 500 millilitres in all. That's not going to clean a whole house. Depends how dirty your carpets are. It might do one large room. One bottle might do one large room. But you'll run out of solution pretty quickly. So I always recommend when you buy a carpet washer, always buy extra solution. So these are the bottles you get with it to keep you, to keep you going, to get you started. But I've also bought a big four litre bottle of the Vax Platinum Antibacterial Solution. You can use other Vax solutions in, but this is one of the better solutions for this machine. This is the pre-treatment solution. It does come with a spray, so you can manually spray it on the stain, but you can also add it to the solution tank if you're using the pre-treatment wand. Here's the cleaner itself. It's quite a large, hefty machine weighing approximately nine and a half kilograms, and it'll be even heavier when it's full of solution. You can make it lighter for carrying upstairs by removing the lower and upper tank, and then it's a bit easier to carry. But bear in mind that this is heavier than a standard vacuum cleaner, certainly heavier than a cordless machine. So it's a wide cleaning path on this machine. So if you've got larger areas of carpets to clean, this will do it in quicker time. It is slightly larger than the machine I've shown you previously. It's got an extra spin scrub brush. This is the front nozzle, which is removable. Always a good sign because no matter how well you vacuum your carpet before you wash it, you will get pet hairs and other gunk collecting in the clear nozzle. So by removing it, you can actually force water down here and dislodge any dirt that gets trapped. So that's a good plus point for any carpet washer. This is the business end of the Vax Platinum Power Max, incorporating two different types of brushes. At the front here, we've got a rotating brush, similar to a brush you'd find on an upright vacuum cleaner. And behind it, we've got Vax's spin scrub brushes. So when you're using this machine, the front brushes rotate one way to agitate the dirt, and then you've got the backup of the spinning spin scrub brushes. So in theory, this should attack all edges of your carpet. All the fibers should be cleaned all the way around because it's incorporating two different brushing actions. You've got a fixed brush here which covers the belt guard, two fixed side brushes as well to help you clean up to the edge, and at the front here is the nozzle that sucks up all the dirty water. On the top of the cleaner here, we've got the cleaning mode selector dial, deep clean and quick clean. On quick clean, it will use less water and detergent, and some carpets can be dry in as little as an hour, depending of course on the carpet and the conditions. So if you're doing it on a warm day and you've got a synthetic carpet, it might dry in an hour. If you're carpet washing in the winter on a wool carpet, obviously it might take longer to dry. You want to select deep clean, especially when you first use this carpet washer. If you've never washed your carpets, you will need the deep clean mode. But once your carpets are clean, you can select quick clean and give your carpets a spruce up, maybe once every couple of months, depending on how dirty your carpet gets. At the back of the machine, we've got a foot operated on off switch and the handle release pedal. Just under the dirty water tank, you'll find the hose connection port. So you need to pull the port down to attach the hose for above floor cleaning. The hose will only go in one way. You'll see a little gray button on one side and the suction inlet here. And the other port is for the cleaning solution. So it goes this way into the machine. Now I've already tried this and it was quite stiff. You might find it very hard to push in when the machine is brand new, but it will go in. Just make sure you've got it in the right way. It'll need to be jiggled about a bit. Keep pressing. 
And as I said, this is very hard to do, but I'm thinking it's just because this is brand new. Once it's in place, you can now use the hose for your stairs, your upholstery, and inside your car. And of course, onto the end here, you can fit the spin scrub tool or the upholstery wash tool. It'll only fit one way. So you just press it in until it latches over the little pip here and it'll click into position. So now we can take the cleaning power of the vax to your stairs and upholstery and car interior, even inside your caravan. And the solution now, when you squeeze the trigger, will spray out of the jet here behind the nozzle. You can agitate the solution into the carpet or upholstery and then suction up the dirty water. To remove the hose, you need to press the button on the side and pull out the hose, but again, it's very difficult to do when the machine is brand new. I'm not sure if it'll loosen up in use, hopefully it will. But bear in mind that is pretty hard to do. I've done it, don't force it though. When you've finished using the hose, you must ensure that the door is closed, otherwise you'll get reduced suction at the cleaner end. So make sure that the hose port is closed before you use the carpet washer for carpet or hard floor cleaning. This is the dirty water tank. To remove it, press this gray latch and tilt the tank out of the machine to empty it. To empty it, we need to remove the lid. There's a gray catch on the back of the tank. Open that, take the lid off, and then tip the dirty water down your sink, drain, or loo. The lid incorporates this float valve. So when the tank becomes full, the float valve will cut off the suction and at that point you must turn your cleaner off and empty out the dirty water. To refit the tank, you'll notice a little tab here and a slot just at the front of the tank, just where my hand is. So insert the lid, ensuring that the tab goes into the slot at the front. Make sure the lid's on securely and then of course fasten the catch at the back like so and reinsert it into the machine at an angle and then push it until it clicks. It's a good idea to rinse your carpets after washing to remove any shampoo residue and even more dirt and on this fax we've got a wash and a rinse feature. Obviously when you're washing your carpets or when you're using the hose ensure that the dial is in the wash position. To rinse simply turn it to rinse and then the machine will just distribute water and no solution. This is the clean water tank that you need to fill with warm water up to 40 degrees and of course the Vax cleaning solution. To remove the tank from the cleaner, simply press the grey button at the top and lift it away. The clean water tank has two caps, one marked water and one marked solution. So remove the cap in the water side and then you fill that with the water up to 40 degrees. You can fill it up to the max line here. If you're doing a quick clean, you can fill it up to the lower level. Once that's full of water, make sure the cap's back in place. This is the solution tank. It's a tank within a tank. So the solution is kept separate from the water. So you just take off the cap and into there you put neat vax solution. I've had a lot of people asking do I dilute the solution and a lot of people have said yes you have to dilute it. You do not dilute the solution if you're using a machine with the auto mix technology. Now there are instructions of dilution on the vax bottle which is why some people get confused but that's when you're using a non-vax carpet washer or a vax carpet washer that doesn't have auto mix. If it's got the auto mix function and a separate tank for the solution, put neat solution into that tank. I might sound patronizing and it's very obvious to me, but so many people have got it wrong. You must put the solution in neat because what the machine will do is mix the clean water with the solution automatically. And that's why it can have a rinse cycle because when it's in rinse, it cuts off the solution tank and it's just putting in clean water into your carpet. So neat solution if you've got the auto mix technology. 
The last thing to show you on this Vax carpet washer is the solution trigger here located under the handle. So you squeeze the trigger to release the carpet cleaning solution and of course to stop the solution flowing you just release the trigger. Best practice is to release the solution as you're pushing the carpet washer forward and as you slowly pull it back release the solution trigger so you've just got suction only and then you go over the area a couple more times with suction only to ensure as much of the solution is removed. We've also got a clean surge button just at the top here so if you come across a stubborn stain or a very heavily soiled high traffic area you can press this button down as you squeeze the trigger and that will release more solution onto the carpet so it's going to put down more water and solution when you press that so don't use that all the time because you're going to over wet your carpet best just use that on heavily soiled areas or stains okay well it's time for the demonstration part of the video so i'm going to use the vax platinum power max to clean this small living room carpet and also the hall carpet. I've chosen these two carpets because they're the dirtiest in this particular house and I have noticed a few pet stains dotted here and there. Obviously a dog has been in here, done its business, it's not been noticed and it's dried in. So I don't know how old these stains are. The most important thing to do before you start washing your carpet is to thoroughly vacuum it. I can see I haven't vacuumed in here for a few days so there are some visible bits on the carpet. There'll also be some deep down dirt so I'm going to use a mains powered vacuum cleaner and thoroughly vacuum the living room and the hallway before I start using the Vax Platinum Power Max. Okay, so I've thoroughly vacuumed the living room and hallway and I'm trying to point out the stains. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. There's definitely a stain there and another stain there. There's a new puppy in this house which uh, explains a lot of the marks on this carpet. I can think there's a stain there, look. So when you look back, it looks pretty clean after a thorough vacuum, but I know that hopefully, anyway, the vax will remove the stains. I've taken out some small pieces of furniture. There was uh, some tables there and a side table there. And this is an L-shaped sofa. So as you can see, I've uh, put that up there so we can clean all the way along. So all there is now, to do is to fill the machine with the solution and water and get cleaning. This is the hallway that does look quite grubby I think that shows up quite well on camera and again there's some more stains there's definitely a stain there that wasn't there the last time I visited this house but stepping back now that does look very very grubby so I'm hoping that the Vax is going to revitalize these two carpets and when these are cleaned I'll no doubt tackle the stairs and the rest of the house. First things first though, I need to fill the water tank with warm water and obviously the solution tank with the Vax solution. I filled the clean water tank with warm water up to the max fill line so now I've got to put solution in the auto mix solution tank. I'm just going to use the sample bottle I got with the machine. I expect I'll need a pair of scissors, yes. I might be able to open the top. If my nail's long enough. Now I'm gonna to have to get a pair of scissors just to break the seal on the bottle. I've poured the full 250 milliliters of VAC solution 
into the solution tank. Remember, pour it in neat. Do not dilute it at this stage because the machine itself will dilute the neat solution with the water in the main tank. All I've got to do now is put the tank back on the cleaner. Just make sure you get it on correctly. Insert it at the bottom first, then push it forward and it should click into position. It's a bit fiddly this. There we go. And I can hear the bubbles now, so I know that the solution is starting to flow. It's not going to actually leak out of the machine, not until I squeeze the trigger, but that seems to be inserted. Also make sure the dial is on the wash setting. Because there are visible pet stains on this carpet, I'm going to pre-treat them using the pre-treatment wand. Now obviously I could put pre-treatment solution into the solution tank, but I'm just going to use the regular vac solution. But I think it will help to start working on the stain before I get to them with the main cleaner. So I'll just do attach this, as I showed you earlier in the video, might have loosened up a bit. This is a bit easier to fit than the hose. So now when I switch the machine on, hopefully when I press this button, we should see the solution coming out of the nozzle at the end here. I finished pre-treating the stains, so I need to remove the pre-treatment wand and then of course make sure that the door is firmly closed. Okay, now starting from the furthest corner away from the door, I'm going to start cleaning this living room. As per the instructions, I'm going to move the carpet washer slowly forwards while squeezing the trigger. On the reverse pass, I'm going to release the trigger, so I'm just suctioning up the solution. I'm going to repeat that for a small area, forward with wet pass, backward dry pass, and then I'm going to go over the whole area with suction only for as long as I can until I can see no more solution coming up the front of the nozzle. It is optional, but at this stage you can rinse the carpet. Don't over wet the carpet. It's best to do a maximum of four wet passes in any one session. So for cleaning, you could do two forward wet passes followed by dry passes and then flick to the rinse cycle and do a further wet pass. You could do a further two wet passes. But remember, after the wet pass, you must always follow with several dry passes in order to remove as much of the dirty solution as you can from the carpet. Okay, here goes. I will recommend, because this is a noisy carpet washer, if you've got sensitive hearing or you just don't want ringing in your ears, if you've got a big room to do, I would suggest investing even in a cheap pair of ear defenders. It's going to save your hearing.
I've cleaned about two thirds of this living room and I've run out of clean water. Actually, there is still a little bit of water left, but it didn't seem to be coming out of the front of the nozzle when I was squeezing the trigger and pulling back. I didn't see a lot of liquid coming up. So I'm assuming that I do need to top up with water. So yes, I've done two thirds of a small living room and I'm needing to change the water already. This is the dirty water. Now, normally you'd expect quite a lot of foam in the tank, especially if you've shampooed your carpets before. So to prevent that, I would always recommend putting a defoamer and I'll put a link to the defoamer I use below the video. So we can see there's no foam, but on a relatively clean looking carpet that was thoroughly vacuumed, that's quite a lot of dirty water. But what I'm going to do is actually pour this water back into the clean water tank. Now I've been over the area several times as long as I can to, to, to see all the dirt coming up. So once you don't see any water coming up the clear nozzle or you see very little, then it's time to move on to the next section of carpet. So I have been over this carpet a lot more than I've filmed to remove any excess solution. So it'll be interesting to see I'm going to get, um, hopefully I've got uh, a funnel somewhere here. I'm going to pour the dirty water. I wouldn't recommend doing this. It's just for a demonstration, but I'm going to pour the dirty water I've picked up into the clean water tank. Now it was at the max fill line. So it'd be interesting, interesting to see how much water this vax has managed to extract from the carpet. Okay. Well, unfortunately I can't find a funnel. This isn't my house. So I don't know where to look. So I'm going to have to try and carefully, if I can, I don't know which is the best, best way to do it, is pour this dirty solution in the clean water tank. Trying not to, oops, try not to spill any. You can see at the bottom of the tank, I don't know if you can quite see it, but there is some grit right at the bottom. Okay, oh, really? Well, that's not very good, to be honest. Let me just, uh, I'll pop the cap on so we can see the water line a bit because it's gone a bit steamy in the tank. That's better. Now we can see that's the dirty water I've collected and it was up to this line. It's a bit hard to show you. I'm hoping, hoping you can see that. So there's a considerable amount of water left in the carpet. I mean, it feels slightly damp to the touch. I could go over it a bit more, but I did go over it very thoroughly with suction only to remove as much of the solution as I could. And it's still left an awful lot of water in the carpet. I will be doing a rinse cycle separately. Once I've finished the whole room, I will be putting clean water in and going over once more with just plain water to extract some more dirt and solution. I mean, it looks clean enough and it smells very nice in this room. Seems to have removed the stains, but yeah, it hasn't done very well at actually sucking up the water. I've thoroughly rinsed out the clean water tank. I've refilled it with hot water and I've also refilled the solution tank with the Vax solution. So now I can continue the job.
okay well that's the living room done and it took two full tanks of water and approximately 500 milliliters of vax solution but it is looking a lot better in fact it's looking several shades lighter i could definitely see a difference and hopefully the camera caught it of the areas i'd cleaned compared to the areas i hadn't cleaned now obviously it's quite damp underfoot not excessively but i will be leaving this room and i would advise if you wash your carpets do it early in the morning if you can and then leave the room unoccupied if you can if you've got a busy household i know that can be difficult but you might be able to do one room at a time and you can say this room is out of bounds for the day tomorrow or maybe later today i will be going over the carpet once more just with clean water to give it a rinse and remove some more residue but all in all it seems to have removed all the stains which had been down quite some time. I'm going to finish the video by cleaning the hall. As you can see, if I stand out of the light, you can see definite stains and marks on the hall carpet. And I expect this runner will be hiding a lot of dirt because we wipe our feet on that particular runner there. Before I refill and empty, let's have a look at the dirty water. Again, I've gone over the carpet another time just to remove a bit more of the water. But on a relatively clean looking carpet, you can see a lot of dirty water in that tank. The room smells very nice, I must say. The carpet is definitely being revived. So let's hope I can get the same result from the living room carpet as I can here in the hallway. Okay, well here's the after. I think there may be just a slight stain there. I can still see, so I'll have to go over that area again, I think. A couple more times with the machine, followed by a rinse, I think that will entirely come off. So it's not perfect, but it is a lot cleaner than it was. The stain that I showed you earlier in the video, just by the door here, that's definitely gone and again everything smells very fresh and clean and to finish the video we can see the water being the hall it's a lot dirtier than the living room a bit hard to show you this while 
holding the camera but you can definitely see that is dirty water dirt that was a few minutes ago on my hall carpet so pretty impressed with that I can't wait to use this machine on all the other carpets in the house well that's about the end of my video on the Vax Platinum Powermax carpet washer I'll be doing a separate video showing the cleaning tools in use I'll be cleaning a flight of stairs and I'll also show you how this machine performs on a hard floor but in the meantime if you have any comments or questions about this carpet washer please comment below don't forget to thumb up and subscribe click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my future videos so until the next time thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon bye for now